All right, welcome to another episode of Coding with Agent. I'm Dean, and we've been uh, working our way through uh, all of these um, tutorials, and it's been fantastic. And we're heading down to the last uh, couple. So this one we're going to take a look at uh, Build a House. And let's see what's going on with that. I can see a lot of ways I could use this in my classroom. I just had some students building ancient civilizations. They can build these houses and have the villagers hang out there. Maybe change what they're built of to reflect what the resources they had at the time. Um, maybe they could... Um, oops. Maybe they could also, uh, in my math class, um, we also talk about composite objects quite a bit. So we could talk about surface area and volume of composite objects and, and actually uh, build those. So not sure why I didn't see the code at the first time. So I'm just going out and coming back in and seeing if um, the code will populate because I didn't even see a tutorial in there. So, you know, sometimes there's a glitch or two and that's part of uh, learning how to deal with coding too is just kind of roll with it, try something, keep clicking, keep typing uh, and, and see what uh, shakes up. All right. Are you going to bring me some code? I think this guy is going to bring me some code. He's a little, but I think he, oh, perfect. All right. On command house. Now this is something that I learned back when with the pyramid, I'm going to have to define these variables for the height and the width. And they're going to teleport behind me. That makes sense. Uh, it's going to take in the height and it's going to take in the width and it's going to put in concrete there. So those are my four walls. And if I look, I think, yeah, so this is the mid first wall, and then those are the other three. So that will give me the four walls that I need. Um, this is really interesting, too. Um, I'll have some roof. So I should have the roof, like, say, if I put in 10, the roof then would be, the first one would be 12. Cause it should add two on, and then su subsequent um, parts of the roof should uh, collapse in and, Kind of like a, a step pyramid like we've done uh, before. So that makes sense. And it's going to use wood. All right. I'm going to move it down. Okay, good. That makes sense. Oh, look. And it's also going to try to put a window in there too. That is going to be interesting. It's got some glass going there. All right. Let's give this a shot and see what uh, takes place. I understand most of this code. I hope this works. But... Let's see. I'm going to type in uh, house. I was trying a couple things before, but it wasn't working. So that's why I, we'll try this again. So I know I need to put 10. Let's put 10 and 10 like I did before and see if it works this time. And oh, it is. Okay, good. Because the last time I did it, it wasn't working. So I had to go out and, and try again. And I think I know what I was doing wrong. But put the code in and built it. We got a nice little house. Oh, even new to put in. Oh, very cool. Oh, there's my house. There's my windows. Where did that say? That's really cool. Oh, the fill in with air. And then the fill in the glasses. Those very, very cool that this code would be able to know in those spots inside of there. That is neat. What a nice piece of code. And so much math involved in it, too. That's what I like about this the math and the computational thinking. There, my own little humble abode. Eat an apple. Nom, nom, nom. All right. Well, thanks for watching this episode of Coding with Agent. We built yourself a nice little house. Um, until next time, uh, take care, and we'll see you.